You are now blacklisted from the skate industry. What's up guys, this is John Hill, welcome to another video. I'm actually in Miami right now, and uh, we're filming crazy videos, which you will see very soon, but there's still a little bit of South Carolina that I want you guys to see today. I got some really good skating in with a good friend Irving, but topic of this video. The original quote was by Nigel Alexander, but why would you think that? Why would you think that starting a career in YouTube would immediately discredit me as a traditional skateboarder? Because it kind of does. Nowadays YouTube has become a little more popular and it's become a little more acceptable for somebody to hold a camera, talk to a camera, or just showcase trick tips, or make some fun skits, or do something along those lines. A lot of skateboard YouTubers still do get some hate from some really big skateboard industries, people that we all know and love, but at the end of the day I think everyone is just trying to protect what they love. But is that true? For the most part, are we all banned from ever having a traditional career in skateboarding? I don't think so. I think there is some way to merge it, but I think if you are someone who vlogs, if you hold a camera and talk, if you showcase yourself talking a lot, a lot of personality, then it's harder for you to have a career in something that before you didn't ever do that. But the thing that excites me the most is there is this new generation of skateboard YouTubers. There are kids nowadays who see this path where people have succeeded making YouTube videos about their skateboarding and they're going down the similar path. Now of course there's a lot of people who get into it as well just to make money at the end of the day because it can be a lucrative career, but typically it's not. It's just like skating, where it's really hard to have an actual legitimate career making YouTube videos. Not that many people in skateboarding at all do it. In the same way, not that many people at all have a traditional career in professional skateboarding. But with this hate, unfortunately, comes divided sides. A lot of people will pick one side and be like, well, I know this side, I don't like this side, so I'm gonna like that side and listen to everything they say. And there's no reason I should sit here and tell you who you should listen to, because whoever you feel more acquainted with is who you should probably you don't listen to anyone don't listen to anyone it's skateboarding but I notice when one person hates a lot of people will gang up or when one person likes or compliments a lot of people will gang up usually people gravitate towards the side that seems like more people are part of because they just want to be part of a bigger community so on a thread if it seems like more people are hating on the youtubers then more people hate on the youtubers and vice versa but the thing with me the way that makes me decide whether or not a company is valid to me is if the person running the company is consistently out there skateboarding a lot of our biggest skateboard brands are out there ran by people who aren't skating on a daily basis. They are skaters, which is amazing, but people who aren't skating every day talking bad about companies that do have people who run them who skate every day. Obviously, I'm talking about Andy Schrock. The dude's out there skating all the time. He runs companies, multiple companies, always doing so much work, but at the end of the day, what's important to him is going out there and skating, and it's very, very evident in his YouTube channel and everything that he does. So to me, those are the companies I'd always back. Because those are the real skaters. So there is a possibility where the traditional companies might not like you as much for doing something like a skateboarding YouTube channel or a vlogging channel, but there's such a big community over here now that you can have a career in this and have tons of people to skate with and have tons of people to relate with and hang out with and hope to be a part of. Maybe one day the two sides will mesh. They'll make beautiful, beautiful babies or someone will come up that sort of brings it together and makes it acceptable for everyone to do what they love in this world. And not be hated on for it, I guess. Anyways, Miami vlog's coming soon, but for now, uh, more beautiful Columbia, South Carolina, bro. Remember when you told me not to go down past a quarter of a tank of gas? Yeah. I may have done that. You out of gas? Yes, sir. What's up, father? What's up, toads? So, when it started stopping, it turned off like this, too. There was no, it was just... Oh, good morning! Welcome to another day that so perfectly describes how I am as a human being. Running out of gas, right off the bat. Dad's following me to the gas station, we're gonna fill up, and then we're gonna party. An amazing way to start off the day. We are going to Best Buy right now, getting some gear, and then we're gonna go skateboarding today. The plan was to do it all day, but... Errands. temporary stop to my house. This is my house. It's getting built right now. Um, yeah, let's not. You don't need to see that.
What? That's my dab. What? Dude, that was so crazy. Have you ever done that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so this is in the future and this is in Miami and you guys will see all this footage coming up as soon as possible. But for now, this guy, Marcus Green, actually reached out to me. He has a pretty popular channel on YouTube as well, skateboarding, and he's really good at it. So he also made a video about Revive. He made a video dedicated to me. Hats off to you, man. You are seriously killing it. He actually just sent me an unlisted video of him doing trickeries on a skateboard, and this is my boy, Zach Gillespie. And right now, he's gonna watch it with me, and we're just kinda gonna give our opinions. Is that Switch? I think so, yes. Yeah. Okay, so Switch Big Heel, which I can't do, so here, okay. Wow. Is that manned up? Yes. Okay, that makes me looking good. This is like... He's like, so, he's a YouTuber, and I feel like typically you wouldn't maybe expect it to be like this heavy, oh, switch on stuff up. Oh, boom. Ooh. Are we giving like recommendations? No, no, not, that's so hard. Yeah, I don't understand that trick at all. I think the only recommendation I have so far is like maybe take the tricks on bigger stuff because it looks like he can do well. Yeah, it looks like he's doing it down the stairs, that's easy. Right. For sure. Back three. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Smith grind on a square rail. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Not fun. Slipping the lip slides. Switch lazy boy. Man kick. I'm ruining these names on purpose because I'm at worst. <laughs> Switch front side flip. Pyramid flat. I think the stair city did was. Oh! oh straight into the push. All right, switch heel. Oh, that was what? Sick. That's a hard trick. Wow. That I was trying those the other day and they were not working. Did you do one? No, I didn't actually. <laughs> it was hard. Well, there you go. That's that's how you know it's impressive. Um, big flip. Mm. That's sick. That looks like a really fun. Yep. That part. Ooh. Dude, wow. Big spin hard flip, I guess. You, have you done that one? I've done hard. it. Hard from Nolly me. before. Oh. Okay. Tray flip. He's saying, skate this flat really easily, I feel like. Oh, blunt flat. Cross up. Nah, 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 nah. Wow, Wait, it looked like he was gonna keep going. That was, was it hard flip late show? It was. That was insane. Yeah. Hard flip. So he's got hard flips like clearly better than I'll ever have them. He's got a big bag of tricks. Switch flip the pyramid flat. That's sick. That's so hard to do off ramps. I feel like in my opposition. Switch flips just hard for me. Damn, not only no, no, not only late. Hard flip late big spin, dude. Yo. Wow. Honestly, that was freaking awesome. Yeah, so thank you, Zach Gillespie. His uh, Instagram will be down in the description below. Actually, if you want, you can go to his Instagram and my Instagram to keep up with the Miami trip uh, in real time. Unless you want to wait for the videos, then stay tuned. It's loud here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I know this video was really scattered and you saw some of Miami, but I wanted to bring a little bit of flavor towards your way and sort of reiterate the point of the YouTubers uh, making channels nowadays and people who I think are doing it right and being really kind along the way. Spreading positivity helps sustain happiness, not just for you, but for the people around you. So guys, I love ya for tuning in, for watching these videos. I hope you have been enjoying the South Carolina vlogs and you'll see a few more. Um, I'm working really hard to make these Miami vlogs as good as I can. So these are coming up and stay tuned. Keep up with the Instagram if you want to keep up with us in real time. But guys, I love you so much. Progress daily and keep going on! <laughs>